everybody back with a little mail day uh not much haven't really been around the hobby or anything very much i've been quiet on twitter youtube uh just been busy it's nice outside and i'm either drinking or working or doing stuff with the kids baseball started here so yeah first off i'm going to show you this uh some of these cards guy gave me a huge box that i think we're like chewed up by mice or something i don't know and I went through and I picked out the better cards and, or what I liked of them. And then I threw the rest away and he said he didn't care. He just wanted to get rid of them. They said they've been sitting in a garage, you know, the yellow top loaders, all that good stuff. So I'll just cycle through some of these cards. These are all in yellow top loaders without any sleeves or anything. But and I know these are base, but I thought they looked cool. It was like action pack. This, these all Madden teams I kept if I knew the player somewhat. Uh, but yeah, nice Andre Ryzen, Barry Sanders fantasy forecast. These were cool inserts. These were at least the better looking ones. And then these three cards are pretty cool. I don't know what they would be called, but Boomer, Phil, and Jim Everett. But yeah, I just thought those were nifty. So I sleeved them all up. Uh, yeah. And like I said, then there's just like the, if it was in a decent shape. Uh, I just kind of kept it. I like these cards anyway. And I know this is like Pro Set or something like that. I like these cards that all have like some kind of educational saying on it or whatever. That was just a cool insert. Don't know who he is, but it's pretty cool. There's a sticker. Derek Thomas. That was another cool card. Kerry Collins. Brian Dawkins, rookie. And then this one was different than the other ones. So I kept it. So there's those. Uh, there was a couple basketball cards in there. And I was like, man, what if I found like some weird chewed up 86 Fleer Jordan or something. But uh, Gary Payton. I think these are like either a rookie or second year card of David Robinson. And I don't know. Patrick Ewing. And there was a couple nice cards. I kept all like the leaders cards. I just thought they were sweet. I don't know. I know there's a million of these made, but those are just nifty cards to me. I don't know. There's like these Dale Earnhardt. There's two Dale Earnhardt cards, and then well, there was one Warren Moon and one Eddie George card that I don't know if I have, but I kept all these. At least the ones that weren't like completely beat up. These Super Bowl. I don't know why, but and then. This was like in like a little snap case. I, I don't know if it's like rare or not, but Neon Deion Sanders. It's pretty cool. Uh, a couple Chris Carters, a couple Jerry Rices. That's a checklist. This Red Zone, Jerry, a couple Montanas. There was a few Steve Youngs I've seen in there. Another Red Zone of Steve Young. Grogan, Allen, Allen, and Sanders Chuck talk and then two of these rose bull thurman thomases you can tell by the sides of them i mean they were yellow and these were like the nicer cards i found so this is a david robinson rookie sensation this was like in a snap case too i took it out so that was cool and here's another one i think that was like in some that was in a screw down and i think this is like a second year card of akeem there's a nice little crease in it, but that was in a uh, card saver, a yellow card saver with no sleeve. And this was cool. This is just kind of sitting in a pile. Steve Young, it's like FX see-through here. And these two Jordan things, they're not worth anything, but still pretty cool to find. These were in uh, little snap-down cases. I guess they're like collector things, but yeah. And he's like, I even told him what I found, you know, and he's just like keep it i don't want it and i went through every damn card in that box which was like dusty i think there was like mice fur or something i don't know so i got a little package from ripping gypsy a couple weeks ago i uh they did like a random 20 dollar buy and gets you something and or whatever it was and uh it was like these coin things that they had and there's four of them i think and uh ironically yeah, it's this baseball treasure. 
And there was three bronze coins and one silver coin. And these are real silver, but I happen to get... <laughs> I, they random them to everybody, and I got the Mookie Betts silver. So apparently that's 0.9999% silver. But yeah, too bad he's not Red Sox anymore, but that's pretty cool. And then, snods, I bought into like a buy one, uh, random two teams. I don't know. Even though I don't even know what I'm doing these damn things, I bought one. I still got a bat sitting in the corner of my room here. Very well packaged, Mr. Snods. He's been doing bats for cheap. I mean, obviously, you guys know he does his helmets and stuff. And uh, as many helmets and obviously the cards and stuff like that. But no Hall of Fame. God. Damn, you rip. Well, I'm leaving the rest of the bubble wrap on. It was very well packaged. But I got this. I'm not going to show a little bat, but this Wonder Franco. I got random the Rays and then pulled a Wonder Franco. I cannot keep the rest of that bubble wrap on. Taped it really well. It was really well packaged. It was all over the barrel. But... So I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'll probably sell this bat. So if you're interested, just let me know. But yeah, that's all I got for today for a while. Like I said, I haven't been I haven't been looking at eBay. I haven't been buying. haven't been watching anybody's stuff. Uh, but yeah, I keep telling myself every day I'm going to do like a fire sale thing on Facebook. And I do not. I just go through and re-sleeve and do cards and stuff like that but yeah that's all i got uh weekend's coming up so enjoy your weekend guys